I've just got back from watching the England match, which was awful. And England scraped through. But when they were losing, I was thinking, hmm, it's another four years until we do this again. And that be, that, that can basically be compared to crypto and bear markets, bull markets. Historically, every four years. And if you didn't know, the Bitcoin halving every single time in the history of Bitcoin has sing uh, basically signified the start of the bull run. What is the bull run? The bull run is the period of crypto where everything goes crazy. Absolutely crazy. And there has been a big difference this year, which was the Bitcoin halving happened after Bitcoin's all-time high. So you've got the big Bitcoin all-time high, I think it was March or something, or it was around the same time, and the Bitcoin all-time high was quickly then. But at the moment, we've had quite a big dip. We have seen altcoins not do as well as Bitcoin in relative aspect. Obviously, you have Bitcoin all-time high. You didn't have ETH all-time high. You didn't have all-time highs from altcoins. Now, obviously, there's a few ones besides that. Casper, which I own, which is doing very well. The, the I'm up in my portfolio, and it's mainly because of Bitcoin and Casper. Um, there is other stuff that I've bought as well. Turbo, the meme coin, that has uh, made me money. Not much. Uh, and also, I'm also using DeFi to yield some stuff. But the majority of altcoins haven't done anything. And people are getting worried because a lot of people are saying, was that the bull run? Was the bull run? Bitcoin's all-time high. Was the bull run? All the memes going crazy. Brett. Uh, I can't remember what it is. One's someone else's dog. Begins with C. But anyway, we had Brett. We had Bonk. Uh, Pepe earlier on. Uh, Turbo, which I just mentioned. Um, there's been a lot on Solana. And what do I think? What I think is, I find it very hard to believe that the Bitcoin halving has taken place in April and it's now the 31st of June, sorry, 31st of June, 30th of June. And there's no way that two months after the halving, that's the end of the bull run till four years' time. The next Euros, 2028. In England, by the way. Well, not England, the UK. I don't believe that. I believe that we're on our way to the, the bull run. When exactly will it be? No one will be, be able to tell you. And I don't care what crypto YouTuber you are or what technical analysis you are. It'll just happen. But historically, near the time of the US election... There is always usually a rally um, that happens just before it because the sitting president always wants the economy to be shown as doing well as a knock-on effect on crypto and then possibly the bull market starts. Now, what I want you to think is if we're having the bull run, which I think we are, this could be your last chance. And what do I mean by that? We know that everything is getting harder in crypto. For example, a lot of coins are getting banned. I um, did a video on Monero. A lot of exchanges are having more stringent checks. KYC in the UK, you have to answer 10 questions to, chart to join the platform. Taxes are getting harder in the UK. Uh, Thursday next week, we elect a new clown, I mean, Prime Minister, most likely Labour, in which capital gains tax, aka crypto tax, is going to get probably doubled. So you've got all these factors. 
the pushing for the central bank digital currencies, all this happening. And uh, we've got the in the U EU more regulations and rules on stable coins. In the UK, a lot of DeFi platforms are getting banned. So you have to use a VPN if you want to use them. Everything is becoming harder to use crypto. And you've also got to think as well for the crypto market maturing. So each time there's been a bull market, Bitcoin has gone up less and less each time as a percentage, and so is the overall crypto market. Now, of course, there's always ridiculous gains to making crypto, but it does get harder and harder each time. That's what I would say. It's getting harder. So you want to make sure that in this bull run, you have a plan. You have a strategy for this bull run because this could be the last time that you're able to have a proper bull run without heavy regulation. Think of how bad it's going to be in four years. Heavy regulation um, without being scrutinised and, you know, there's probably going to be more tax next time. There's going to be more bans. There's going to be more things going bust. So this could be the last chance you have in crypto to make a decent go of it. So you need a strategy. You need a plan. And I don't mean a plan as in buy this coin, it's going to do 100x because that's the worst plan ever. And that seems to be the plan of every crypto YouTuber. Here's the 100x coin, buy this, get rich. Which, you know, unless you live in Clownland with, you know... Keir Starmer and Gareth Southgate, the England manager. That ain't going to happen. So, how do you get a plan? How do you get a strategy? I have a free crypto group called the 10X Club. Join it, completely free. No sell. And in the people are talking about strategies. People are talking about wallets, coins, exchanges. I have crypto courses in there, weekly Q&As. Um, and this is a sell. If you want to join my VIP group, this is the last time you have to join it before the price rise. Price goes up tomorrow. And if you want to join it, we have Zoom calls, crypto courses, a bull run calculator, put in your coins, and it will automatically calculate profit-taking levels for you in the bull run. Join them if you want. If you don't want to, what I would do is go on Excel, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, make up a spreadsheet, put in the average price of all your coins and set some price targets for what you're going to cash out at, whatever that is. So and make it realistic. Don't put, you know, Bonk, Turbo, uh, Pepe, Doge, I hope this isn't your portfolio, Dogecoin, although some crypto YouTubers talk about having a 10 coin meme portfolio. And put, you know, 30x for every coin, that's the worst strategy ever. Mine is once my coin gets a 5x, I take 20% out. So you may put, and for your high cap coins, you may put lesser targets than your lower cap coins, as long as they're decent. This is why I created the spreadsheet, so it does it for you, as opposed to, um, you know, just making it up. So get that spreadsheet together. And then what you need to do is go on your CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap app, put in the price alerts for the prices you put. When the price pops up, whatever percentage you're selling at, sell it. Stick to the plan, and you'll do well in the bull run. Because most people don't have a plan, they have a rough estimate, don't they? So it's like, oh yeah, um, say you bought a coin at 20 cents, you'd be like, oh, a dollar, it'll definitely take profits. But then it gets to a dollar and you're like, oh, I'll just wait till $1.50. Then it gets to $1.50, oh, I'll get to $2. And then you never take profits and get wrecked. Like me with Elrond in the last bull run. Make sure you set realistic price targets and plan what you're doing for your crypto tax. If you don't want to pay it, fair enough, that's your choice, you know? If you want the tax man after you, or you don't pay tax, fair enough. But if you are doing it, make a plan for that as well. And I'd advise against making a spreadsheet for that. It's just going to be too complicated because of all the transactions involved with crypto and 
it'll just get complicated, especially if you're staking it, if you get getting drops. Best thing to do is download some software, whether it's online like Coinly, CryptoBooks, there's a few of them, or get an accountant that deals in cryptocurrency. Pay them a few hundred dollars, a few hundred pounds, go through your transactions, submit your tax claim, and <coughs> tax claim job is a good one. That's what you need to do. But if you take one message away from this video, it's this could be the last chance in crypto. So you need to maximize what you're doing for the bull run. You need to get a plan together for this bull run. And if you don't, it's going to be four years until the next time. Just like England, next time there will be a European Championship is four years' time. So if they get knocked out in the next game, which they probably will, it's another four years until the tournament is here. I know it's the World Cup, but we're speaking in the four-year cycles. So if you get to the bull run, you don't take profits, you don't cash out, it's going to be four years of the bear market until the next one. And the next one, may not be as good the next one may have more regulation the next one may have more taxes it may not be as fruitful so just bear that in mind if you do like my content please subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll see you guys very soon